Hey, how's it going there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earth Master back here on this Thursday night. About 10 o'clock West Coast time here. July 13th, 2023. Got Friday tomorrow. Finally Friday coming up. All right. Earthquake activity. What do we have? The latest quake shows a 1.1 into the California area. Also seen uh, some pretty good uh, earthquake activity around the northern edge here of the trench you got mariana trench and the izu trench up here we have been watching uh some deep earthquake activity here recently uh that's starting to fill in slightly as expected with a 5.3 a little bit further around the surface levels the deeper activity has been way down into the trench regions here i'm still expecting some movement across this area uh, before it's all said and done uh, we'll continue to watch this area the uh, Japan Trench northward, fairly quiet. Not a whole lot of activity stirring up there. Looks like maybe a 3.9 at the northern edge here of the Kurokamachaka Trench. But aside from that, uh, not a whole lot of activity there in that region. Uh, we do have a 4.6 into the Banda Sea area, the latest quake in this region. Almost 600 kilometers deep, 577 to be exact. Still a pretty deep earthquake. We'll watch that region as it's showing some signs of uh, elevated movement here across the area. Quite a few threes and twos and whatnot going on here across this region. And uh, let's see what else we have here. New Guinea area picked up this earthquake here early this morning. That's a 4.9 uh, again from way earlier today. Uh, here across the Loyalty Islands area, this region uh, seen a 5.0, 35 kilometers deep. New Zealand not seeing a whole lot of activity here uh, showing up, at least not on the globe. So I do want to double check and uh, just make sure here from the GeoNet servers as to their uh, activity or lack of activity. 2.4 looks like three hours ago. Uh, not seeing anything major showing up here across the maps. Earthquake drums here uh, show some activity there from yesterday. But uh, for the most part, as you can see here, not a whole lot. Very absent of earthquake activity today. All right, uh, across the Pacific Northwest, very minor activity across the Cascades. Northern California here, uh, across the southern end of the Cascadia, did pick up a 2.0 near Ferndale underneath here, about 17 kilometers deep. Uh, on that note, let me double check the trimmer map here tonight and see what we have for Cascadia trimmer. Looks like a zero epicenters of tremor. So we're still in that uh, declining level. You know, we, we only seen a small amount of uptick back in April, a little bit in May. Uh, but for the most part, we're just in that window of lack of tremor. Not a whole lot compared to years past. And we have seen, um, we have seen years where it's been fairly minimal as well it looks like between 2016 to 2018 here there was a window of a very minimal trimmer so we'll continue to watch that though and see how that uh, plays out uh, looks like the Cobb Mountain area Clear Lake volcanic field crackling with earthquakes here today quite a bit looks like about 70 earthquakes so far last 24 hours a pretty good swarm of movement here across the area just south of Cobb Mountain this is the uh, Calpine hydrothermal operations. If you look here, if you zoom in, you'll see quite a few facilities out there. All this earthquake activity striking uh, within the zones that they perform their operations in. Uh, further down south, not a whole lot going on through central California. Southern California, a little spotty at best as well. Um, not seeing any major swarms going on. A couple different smaller swarms here outside the Borrego Springs area, but most of that was from early this morning. Not a whole lot of activity taking place here uh, across this afternoon or evening. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, two lonesome earthquakes. So let's double check and see what's going on up here at Yellowstone National Park. As far as that little swarm they were having, uh, looks like it's a little spotty. Not a whole lot going on here. A couple earthquakes from earlier this morning and also um, maybe a couple here in the last few hours or so. But for the most part, things are very minimal in terms of... Uh, uh, earthquake activity got a 4.5 notification there in uh, Bolivia just now on my phone 
Looks like about 241 kilometers deep here. Pretty deep earthquake there underneath Bolivia. Uh, there it is up on the globe. You can see that and also quite a few uh, other smaller quakes in the mix there as well. 5.0 down into the South Sandwich Trench. Fairly new earthquake. 35 kilometers deep. Uh, just about an hour or so ago. Uh, into the Puerto Rico area. Still watching movement up here across the Puerto Rico Trench. Although it's calmed down slightly. We'll continue to watch this area uh, for some possible movement. It's been shuffling around here recently with some... Uh, interesting earthquake activity up here around the trench and of course we had that uh, oh that six pointer here a couple days ago they're just off the plate boundary one earthquake uh, out in the northern east P east pacific rise that's a uh, divergent boundary zone uh hawaii now hawaii did have a little odd earthquake out here as well 4.6 a ways away from the volcanoes out here but this is 24 kilometers deep associated uh with the pacific plate obviously um, at the oceanic crust levels, or just below that, it looks like. Um, uh, 24 kilometers, that's a waste down there. Uh, but it's probably got to do with the general um, activity that occurs down at that depth. We have seen, uh, historically, quite a bit of earthquake activity out there um, away from the volcanoes. And some it may not be shown up here on the map because this is 4.5 and above. Uh, but we have seen other earthquake activity out here into the uh, Pacific away from the volcanoes and uh, I don't think it's anything to worry about we'll, just, we'll watch for swarms uh, that's kind of what we want to keep an eye on if we start seeing some major swarms going on around the area uh, then we could uh, probably uh, relate that to uh, some volcanic activity magma movement below Mauna Loa seen a little bit of activity as well up at the summit region, a 2.0, 1.4. Very small earthquake activity on the northeastern flank. Uh, I don't believe we got anything um, put out on that, but again, it's just a little bit of earthquake activity there at Mauna Loa. Uh, there's the informational statement on that earthquake earlier. That's that four-pointer. See what these guys are saying. Uh, looks like there's no effect on Mauna Loa or, or Kilauea volcanoes. Uh, let's see here. They got to have more than that. It looks like maybe they did a secondary update as well. Hold on a second here. Informational statement. 4.6. Oh, here we go. Deep earthquakes north of the island of Hawaii are typical, typically the result of bending the oceanic crust. There we go. That's what kind of what I was looking for. An underlying brittle mantle due to the weight of the islands. This earthquake fits a pattern of past earthquakes related to bending of the oceanic lithosphere. All right, perfectly well said. I knew there. Were, I knew they would. They would definitely state it. I'm just kind of wondering why they didn't put it in their first update. But uh, there you go. All right, uh, let's see what else we have out here, folks. Um, Alaska, Denali, fairly active up here, at least outside the region, up around the Alaska Range. Uh, not seeing any major movement going on currently across the Alaska area. Further west, way west, or east, however you want to look here on the map. Um, did have a 4.5 in the Afghanistan area. Deeper earthquake, 225 kilometers deep there into that uh, that region. Mediterranean, pretty quiet though for now. A couple smaller earthquakes. One earthquake up there across Iceland with the ongoing volcanic activity there. Um, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and check out space weather activity. Let me bring this up here real quick from solarham.net. Still watching a couple different sunspots, although right now flaring has diminished. We're into the sea flare category, fairly neutral. Not seeing any upticks currently since the uh, activity there um, over the past 24 hours. Now, a look at the UV filter ray here. Shows uh, some of that magnetic field lines up here across several of the sunspots on the western limb of the sun. Uh, nothing really flaring currently. A look at the magnetogram that shows the imagery of the sunspot cores and their magnetic structure. Uh, unfortunately, uh, let's see here. This one looks like it's kind of dying down, although there's still little... Uh, area within that sunspot core that needs monitoring 
uh, you know, could see some flaring from this area. Also a new sunspot on the northeastern limb of the sun we're watching. Can't really get a, a really good look at it, but a glimpse does show some complex structure within that uh, sunspot area. Uh, this massive sunspot here, I don't know, there's just not a whole lot of growth with it. Looks fairly stable. I'm not really worried about that. And these are just kind of going away. So we'll watch this region here. Hopefully uh, it will pick back up. Uh, let's see what our flare threat potential is. Looks like still 20% chance for X flare probability. 55% uh, chance for M flare, C flare around 99% certainty. And uh, looks like maybe tomorrow, or uh, excuse me, on the 15th, that's going to be on um, Saturday, it looks like, potentially. Well, that's going to be UTC time, so it could be tomorrow. Let's see. Uh, UTC time of the 15th. So it's going to be uh, sometime tomorrow, late tomorrow. Could see a little elevated conditions, but that's about it. I mean, uh, maybe. Could be a glancing, just a barely glancing blow that may spark up little roars at the uh, polar regions. But I don't think we're looking at anything major going on. Current aurora forecast looks uh, just slightly elevated up here across portions of Canada, Iceland, Greenland area. KP index right around at least three, it looks like. Uh, so, yeah. Continue to watch this and, uh, of course, report back on it if anything changes. Not a whole lot of activity currently taking place here on the live Seismos. Looks fairly calm and neutral. Have a good night, everyone. We'll catch you guys back here uh, tomorrow, Friday. It is Friday tomorrow. Goodness. Seems like it was just Friday. All right. Take care, folks. We'll catch you guys back here in the morning. Peace out.